uncertainty and decision support errors actually results in certain uncertainty uh, how else uncertainty can also be caused by vagueness in the conceptual model this can be model using our theory which we call as fuzzy set theory so we'll look at uh, modeling conceptual vagueness using fuzzy sets and then decision support and how to allow for uncertainty so what is conceptual vagueness there are three uh, basic laws where we say that uh, it may be the law of identity law of non contradiction and the principle of the excluded middle and when we come to eastern civilizations place emphasis on the balance between opposite then we say crisp and fuzzy set again one logic is binary and cannot cope with situations where there may be conceptual vagueness we call it call is aristotelian logic boolean or crisp sets permits only two states that is zero or one but fuzzy sets can accommodate non binary situation members functions that is between zero and one it is not always possible that the switch is on or off sometimes it may uh, lying in between uh, this uh, situation is fuzzy so membership functions are not probabilities sometimes they call uh, as possibilities and two approaches uh, which uh, is uh, used to assign membership values are expert knowledge and taxonomy so semantic import approach the uh, si approach is useful in situation where you have a good qualitative idea of how the data should be grouped or classified but where it is difficult to define exact boundaries the exact basically uh, the uh, comes uh, or involves selecting a uh, suitable membership function and appropriate parameters see we have certain boolean values certain intermediate values there are various combinations of permutation possible then we will talk about fuzzy k means the semantic import approach is theory driven the fuzzy k means uses a numerical taxonomy numerical uh, aspect is also there and it is empirically determined for example uh, you may wish to classify eds within a city into similar uh, areas in multi dimensional attribute space the procedure may be arbitrarily assign each ed to one of the k categories calculate the center of gravity of each uh, category reassign each ed which is the nearest to cg repeat until no eds are reassigned and assign membership values for each ed for each category so operations that may be performed on crisp sets crisp set can be compared using operations such as uh, logical and or and complement this is and this is or this is not and then uh, operations uh, continuing with that analogous operation can be carried out on fuzzy sets like intersect union and complement that is we take the lowest value in the two sets union we take the highest value and complement we difference it from one and crisp set are just a special case of fuzzy set this is a more bigger set so give uh, Gives gives a more uh, enhanced result in C mapping. Then fuzzy polygon boundaries. A similar logic can be applied to locational data also. For example, identifying uh, a, a forest as a polygon with sharp boundary, forest non forest. We can could have a graduation at the edges where membership function ch change gradually from one to zero. That is forest to non forest. It can be forest. It can be non forest. then when we talk about decision support it refers to the application of gis technology to aid the decision making process and what kind of decisions it may be resource alloc uh, allocation decisions and policy decisions the process is usually uh, it is informal and intuitive but a more formal approach may yield insights more uh, insight uh, stuff and concepts in this are a decision the decision framing candidate set like in decision framing we have what can be the alternative land uses in candidate set we have land parcels decision set a particular allocation of land uses to land parcels and criteria may be factors and constraints again uh, decision process uh, decision rule this often involves calculation of 
composite index along with the rules for deciding between alternatives that is choice function that oh, either be a formula choice heuristic either be a algorithm and types of decision may be classification or selection classification may include hypothesis testing or in selection we have identification of sites most suitable for a given purpose and objectives are shaped by social cultural political and other factors related factors the objective should be reflected by the decision rule and evaluations are the application of decision rules so evaluations may be single criterion multiple criterion that is multiple criterion we have boolean overlay and weighted linear combinations and evaluations may also be single objective or multiple objective that is complementary and conflicting what are the problem types criteria and objectives give us four possibilities but few example of non trivial examples of multi objective single criterion problems de facto we have three types single objective single criteria single objective and multiple criteria multiple objective and multiple criteria then uncertainty all decision involve a certain degree of uncertainty we know it and sources of uncertainty may be database uncertainty or decision rule uncertainty database uncertainty that is measurement errors and decision rule uncertainty means conceptual vagueness suboptimal data and specification errors risk assessment need, we need to weigh up the implication of making the wrong decision and need to weigh up the decision risk or decision cost bayesian statistics classical statistics use the uh, you know neiman pearson uh, paradigm this risk is self for to a certain empirical data so it may be possible to take account of additional information using bayesian approach this is how the bayesian probability is uh, estimated bayesian approach permits new formation and information to be used to update the older information so thank you so much take care of yourself